Oh, I'm so tired. I must have slept like five hours. I shouldn't have watched these last two episodes of Gilmore Girls. So how many hours of sleep do you get every night? And how many hours do you think you need for good health? I'm sure many of you have heard of the advice to get 8 hours of sleep per night. It seems to be some kind of magic number of hours of sleep per night for good health. But is this even based on research? Let's find out in today's video. So to make it short, the answer is yes, it does seem to be based on research. Let's look at a few studies. Sleep isn't just satisfying for us, it is actually a matter of life and death. In experiments with rats, rats which were deprived of sleep died within a month. And of course they, they couldn't repeat these experiments in humans, but what they did find is that in humans, insufficient sleep has been shown to impair our physical performance, but also processes involved in knowing, learning and understanding things. And that's why enough sleep is so important for kids and students. And lack of sleep also impacts our mood. I mean, who hasn't been grumpy after a short night of sleep? But it also reduces how alert we are and worsens our reaction time. And that's why we shouldn't drive, for example, when we're really, really, really tired. In the longer term, not sleeping enough has even been linked to dementia. That's because sleep activates a kind of waste disposal network in the brain that flushes out harmful substances. And when these build up, they could increase our risk of Alzheimer's disease. Multiple studies have also linked how much sleep we get in our lifespan. While it varies a bit from the 8-hour recommendation, a 1964 study of more than 1 million people was the first one to find that men who got 7 hours of sleep at night had lower death rates than those who slept just 5 hours. And this link has since been seen many times. A sleep researcher from California studied pre-industrial societies in Tanzania, Namibia and Bolivia. And he found they sleep on average between 6 and 7 hours which shows they are not that different from us Western societies. So how much sleep do we all get then? According to a poll by YouGov, only a third of Britons are getting at least seven hours of sleep per night. But a 2018 study from Canada should suggest that this third of people is at an advantage. In a survey of more than 40,000 people, seven to eight hours of sleep proved to be the optimum for the functioning of our brain, while participants who got just four hours of sleep per night performed as if they were almost eight years older than they actually were. On the other hand, I found some evidence that too much sleep can also be harmful. Long sleep duration has been linked to negative health outcomes, like for example heart disease, diabetes and obesity. But Correlation isn't causation. It hasn't been shown if long sleep causes these health outcomes or if they are consequences of underlying diseases. Do you know some people who don't sleep much but never seem to be tired? Oh, how come you're not tired? We slept like for four hours. What? No, I'm so energetic. I think we should go for a run actually. Did you see the weather? These are the lucky ones. They can get away with, with very little sleep without the consequences I mentioned. In 2019, a biologist at the University of California found two DNA mutations in genes that allow people to live their life on just four hours of sleep per night. They found the genes by studying families who reported feeling fully rested after much less sleep than normal. When they put the mutation into mice, these mice slept less but their memory and health didn't seem to be impaired. 
since only a few of us carry mutations like this, for now we should aim for at least 7 hours of sleep per night. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.